and more lives lost. In Onondaga County, four deaths are being reported today, marking 20 deaths since last Friday. County Executive Ryan McMahon says there are 288 new cases in our community. News 10 Alliance Andrew Donovan was at the County Executive's briefing for us today. Andrew, you know, it's just so heartbreaking to hear the loss of life continues in our community. What did the County Executive have to say today? Well, Christy, 20 people have died since Friday. So while so many people, the same time that they were maybe enjoying their weekend off from work, of course, enjoying it safely, 20 families around Onondaga County learned that a loved one won't be here to even virtually celebrate the holidays. They're gone because of coronavirus. And that's one thing the county executive is saying. If people didn't believe that Halloween led to a problem, then they need to believe Thanksgiving did and better make some changes long before the actual Christmas holiday and avoid gatherings. The other big conversation today at the briefing was the vaccine. We know that the state of New York plans to vaccinate 10,000 people today. That doesn't appear, though, to be any one in central New York as of the best knowledge we have. The county executive says he isn't aware of any shipments of the vaccine making its way to Onondaga County as of yet, but hopes they get here within the next 12 to 24 hours to start making sure that hospital workers and nursing home residents are among the first to get those shots. I think it's one of the most historic events that um, you know, uh, history will judge very, very well. So I'm not, wor I know, I know it's on its way. Uh, if it gets here tonight, I hope they start vaccinating. Uh, and if it gets here tomorrow morning, I hope they start vaccinating. As we speak, the county executive is hosting a phone call with nursing homes of Onondaga County to make sure their plans are set. Most of them partner with a pharmacy provider who will be the ones to actually order the exact number of vaccines needed from the federal government and be the ones to go into the nursing homes to administer it. That could happen as soon as middle of this week. We'll keep trying to get the best information as to if vaccines are here and we'll keep keep watching and asking the questions, Christy.